Hello and welcome to CS230. This is lesson um, one from lecture two. And what I'm going to do here is going to do a little bit more deeply into um, manipulating tables. And I want to show you the various tools that you could use in order to be able to practice the HTML tags. We're going to look at the table one. And in particular, I'm going to take the table that I have here in this, in this section of my um, of my slides and you've seen this on the, in the Thursday lecture and the approach is to try and um, make a HTML table from this just so that we can use it um, in later exercises and so forth as well and you'll be working with tables in the lab so it's nice to be able to um, see something practical here and um, it has it has stylistic features which we're not going to worry about but once we have it created um, uh, as a HTML structure and um, then we'll be able to add style to it maybe in the next set of lessons okay so um, Really what we want to be able to do is we want to start with a, maybe a basic template for a table. And what we can do for that is we can just go back to our W3 schools and we, I have the page open for table here and we copy this. And um, so now we have a, a basic structure that will save us doing a little bit of typing and we can copy and paste. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code now. Um, you could use um, Atom or you could use any, any of your favorite editors um, to here. Um, let's click on Studio Code and uh, I have uh, sample document already available here as well so it's the sample structure um, um, that's ready to go and what we want to do is we want to find the body tag and then enter the table in here so now we have the table and um, the table entered and um, we're going to just let's remove this style because we don't want to worry about styles just yet we see the first row is just going to deal with header elements and then we have some rows and rows and rows and some some small elements. So we want to get rid of these and replace them with the information that's in the um, the example that we looked at a little bit earlier um, in my slides, for example. So let's go back to the slides and have a peek at that. So we can copy, we can copy basis for comparison, for example, copy this, we go back to our editor, and it's going to be the first um, header of the first column in the first row and so we have it here okay and with the others uh, the other two are just um, um data and information and the next one is so we've saved this we, we have this information so we I'm, I've, I've got it just in a little file called demo zero one we just save this and now that we have it saved, we can we can look at it elsewhere. So we can look at it in our browser. Okay. So we have a range of browsers available to us. Um, and I have lots of them. I have Vivaldi, I have Chrome, I have Safari, Firefox, and Opera here. And um, I I often have um, uh, I'd like to say I have a Windows machine as well, which I use, and it has variants of Windows versions of all of these. I have older versions. Um, it has Internet Explorer there as well. It has Edge. I have mobile devices that I check in the various browsers as well. So when I write something with HTML, I want to be sure it works everywhere. Um, this is a one way to test. Although, you know, with clever browsers like Chrome, you can actually specify the target um, that you want to look and check for anyway. But we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, okay, so let's look at Vivaldi. Um, I'm going to see it. I'm, I'm actually accessing the file here. It was um, demo one again, that HTML. I've saved it here. Um, and originally it had that this is a placeholder header. We're seeing this here. And um, now once we've saved it and we will reload it. Uh, sorry, let's just put it here. Save this and let's re reload here. So I see the table, okay? And it's a bit different to the one you will see if you copy directly across from the W3 schools example, because I've taken out the width. So it just it compresses the, the table a little bit. But it doesn't look like it, like the table we saw um, in the slides already, um, because it has all this extra data here as well. So let's let's copy that in, I'm, and, and I've done it already. I've, co I've prepared this earlier. So we'll just um, take all the, the, the internal structures here and we'll um we replace this oh yes we didn't put the rows in so let's actually do this so these are well these are the rows these are header information water information and um, and uh let's get this in here into demo let's put it in here and actually these ones aren't headers they're rows they're or sorry, there are data elements. 
let's change them back because we already have the headers in here and we need to just change the base here and let's get accept that and let's go down to here and change that to td and td so it's done it first because it knows um it knows to close the tag appropriately so you've got some smart you've got some smart um browser systems here and we just get some more rows let's get rid of this row here and here we're going to need a few of them so let's copy this and let's add a few more rows in here and i would copy the the rest of the data let's so we want these ones and we put it in here let's make it look nice The next row make it look nice and so forth I'm not going to do any more of them actually let's just um, let's just leave it at that and we you can copy them across yourself I'll give you I'll put up the files online so you can do it okay save this and again let's have a look at it in in um, Vivaldi and so it's nice and um, got a little bit of a problem here I suppose the basic comparison the data it's not it's not um, it's not set up correctly so we might need to take this ah I see what the error is see we've got a TD here instead of a TR so it didn't display properly so let's fix that okay and then um, save it loaded and now it looks a whole lot neater, okay? So, you know, you can sometimes tell just by looking. Um, you can also do some checks and, and, and some HTML checkers to see that it works fine. So, okay, so that's one way. So, and it's probably the preferable way, put something into, um, put something into, a, into a, uh, a file, save it, and then open it with your favorite browser. And you can look and see those that behave the same way in different browsers, okay? Another approach is let's just copy the, the, the document that we've read here, uh, that we've written here, and let's move to a virtual playground. And there are two that I'm, I like one is code pen okay and it's codepen.io slash pen and it has a section for html a section for adding css and a section for javascript and we just put all the html in here now in principle you don't actually need to have this piece the body in html sections um, and the header sections here it will ignore all that anyway and just deal with the table but we'll let's look at it and you can see that it automatically updates the display to get something pretty much the same as we had in our in our vivaldi so it's nice and we can practice and make changes and do something we want here and it and it'll look nice we can also use JS Fiddle, which is um, at jsfiddle.net. And again, this is, has a HTML section, it has a CSS section, and it has a JavaScript section. And it's, uh, it's quite nice. And we can pop the, um, the code in here. And it will ignore the, again, ignore the body tag. And um, now this time it won't run it until we actually say run, which is up here in the corner. So we run. And we get our table again here and it looks nice let's let's verify that it doesn't need this stuff here get rid of all that the headers here get rid of all this stuff here delete it and it tells us that there's an issue because this knows that we've got these closing tags when we when we um we don't have opening tags so we just get rid of those as well um and we we run and again we get the we get our table down here it's fine you know so we don't need to have that stuff we don't need to know how, how it's set up and we can do the same thing as I, as I mentioned already you can do the same thing here you can get rid of these tags in in um, code pen and you'll notice that it's ignoring those but like unlike the JS fiddle it didn't give us some checking around this okay so let's get rid of those and it's updated you can't see but it's updated Next, uh, in the next week's lectures, we'll be looking at style sheets and we'll be able to modify this and look at some of this stuff. You can save these, you can, you can save your pen, you can create an account, you can share them, you know, and it's a nice way to be able to share and look and just try a little bit of, um, of work for yourselves. Okay, um, I'd advise you to go and have a look at the other examples here, um, if at all possible. You could just try something yourself as well if you wanted to go to W3 Schools. You click here and try it yourself it opens up an editor and you could paste your sample in here and then run 
and you know it works so it's a nice it's a nice um, HTML editor as well if you want to use this and um, you don't always have network access of course so it's not a bad idea to always have your editor and have a setup where you can design and edit your own um, locally on your own machine okay thank you we we'll leave it there thank you very much